all right so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create parametric trellis panels in autodex Revit. so this is not too difficult it's quite simple so i'm just going to show you the easy steps you can use to create it without wasting any more time let's get to the main stuff so firstly you're going to go to this your file icon then we are going to create a new cotton wall panel uh, family so we're just going to go over around this new under this new we're going to click on families okay so if you work with the imperial system you can select from here but me i work with the metric system so i'm going to click on this up by one level then i'm just going to click on this normal english then once i click on english i'm not going to scroll down i'll be looking at the alphabet so i'm going to look at this cutting wall metric cutting wall panel okay rvt so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to click on open all right so now we have done this we are first going to we are going to create a single geometric panel we are going to be repeating so we are going to click on this because these two are eq are written on this two. it means these two dimensions are equal so once you click on this and change this it's going to equate what is on the other side so for instance i want to make each panel um, 100 millimeter so i'm just going to change this to 50. if i want to make it 75 i'm going to change it to 30 37.5 but i think 100 millimeter is fine so after making this 100 millimeter i'm now going to go to this elevation or exterior elevations then i'm going to click on this reference plane here and i'm going to change this height to let's use um let's use maybe 900 i think 900 is a good number so once we have done this we're now going to go back to this reference floor plan and we're going to start creating so we're going to click on create we're now going to click on extrusion in this extrusion we're now going to set the extrusion end to 900 we're going to put the category the material we're going to make it a wooden material let's just create a wooden trellis so i'm going to right click duplicate and i'm just going to call the 00 wood trellis wood material let's just call it wood so i'm going to click on this i'm going to click on appearance then i'm going to click on wood then i'm just going to change this replace this with this anidroba material so once i do this i'm going to close this here i'm going to click on graphics make sure i click on this use render appearance click on apply and click on ok so now we're going to start drawing our profile so the first thing to do is i'll advise to draw a line from this point to this point after drawing the line from that point you hover to the center draw another line and this line we are going to draw it forward from here and this line should be 50 mm we are going to draw another line here so this line is now going to be 37.5 okay and up to this point so after doing this we are going to click on escape then we are going to click on modify we're going to click on split and we're going to split this line here then click on trim trim here to here trim here to here so now we're going to click on this offset tool and we're going to be offsetting this by five millimeter so we're going to make sure this copy is checked on we're going to copy export offset offset then we're going to do some trimming again and trim here so now we are going to bevel the edges because i don't want the edges to be so sharp like this it's not realistic so i'm going to click on this um, fillet act tool i'm going to click on this line click on this line bevel it here click on escape um F because let me do it again so i'm going to click on this fillet act tool left click here left click once it's the arc form click again click on escape click on this arc and set it at 5 mm okay so now this is done what we're now going to do is we're now going to select highlight everything here after highlighting we're going to click on mirror pick axis and we're just going to pick this axis so we're now going to select these two lines here and delete it because this was our true intention so now what we're going to do is we're going to draw another line here draw another line here and close this loop so now we're going to click escape we're not going to click on al which is align so we're going to click on this reference line and click on this small line then lock it in place we're going to click on escape again al again that is align select this reference plane select this line profile at this edge and lock it in place so now this is done i will i think we're good to go i'm going to click on escape and click on finish so if you go to this exterior elevation we're not going to see the panel here so i'm going to click on this i'm just going to move this down first then move this up here then just click on this lock in place move this up move this down lock in place so it's going to be locked in place so if i increase this or reduce it it's going to adjust with the height so this is i can set this back to 900 so after doing this we're going to click on ctrl s to create a family so we're going to it's going to open our file explorer so i'll suggest you create a library to be saving these stuff so let me just quickly save mine okay so now i've saved it um what i'm not going to do is now i'm not going to click on load and i'm going to load into the project i want to work on okay so 
we have loaded it into this project. So where is the next step? Where is the trellis you're asking? We are now going to work with the cutting wall system. So what we are going to do now is we are going to go to a plan view. We can favorable NGL. We are going to click on this wall. Click on drop down. And we are going to scroll down. And we are just going to look for this any cutting wall panel. Let me just use the one that is usually commonly found. This non-defined. So I'm going to click and set this from NGL. Set the top constraint to first floor. Then I'm going to click on edit type duplicate and i'm going to call this zero zero wood trellis panels okay so after doing that we're going to click on ok so the first thing i'm going to do is to click on this function leave it as exterior i'm can uncheck this automatically embedded i can click on this system cutting panel i can change it i can look for these trellis panels in revit that i saved because i loaded into to the into this project you are going to see it under this cutting wall panel so you are going to select the trellis panel the joint condition we can leave it at non-defined so the vertical layout we are going to click on it and we're going to click on fixed distance remember the width of that our reference planes while we were creating the family was 100 millimeter in total so we're going to leave it that way we're also going to set this horizontal to fixed distance and we're going to change the height to 900 as you remember okay so we're going to scroll down here and we're going to look for this interior munions we're not going to leave it at none because we don't need any munion for this so i'm just going to click ok and i'm now going to draw our trellis panel system and i'm going to click on escape so you can see from the plan you can see how it created perfectly you can see how it's in unison so if you go to 3d view now you can see the trellis panel and it's looking very nice so if you use this you can easily create it for different purposes so let's say we want to use trellis on this facade okay so i'm going to click on this and delay this so we are going to go to ngl once you go back to ngl again because we have already created the cutting panel system we're going to click on walls click on this use this trellis panel set it from ground ngl to let's say roof level pick this point here up to this point okay then we have created it so we can click on this delete type for just a minor errors we can click on replace panels uh -huh. so we can always click on this we can just adjust the position here just to make it flush well then we can select this click on copy copy this to this other end all right so as you can see you can if you go to the 3d view now you can see how this looks you can see how parametric it is so if i just select this here and decide to change the thing from roof level to third floor you can see it to just adjust automatically okay so i hope this video will be helpful to you you can use it to create many stuff for your nice facade designs okay so if this video was helpful make sure you like this video subscribe to this channel for more content like this also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos like this because it will keep coming and with that said and done i'm going to wish you good luck till we see you again as usual in the next video thank you very